very good morning to all of you student welcome to the mathematics class in this session we will study about a chapter introduction to three dimension geometry now student as we know that in the three dimension geometry we will consider three axes but first of all i want to introduce what is two dimension geometry so in the case of two dimension geometry we will study only two dimension that means two axis x axis and y axis this is x axis and this is y axis but in the case of three dimension geometry we will study three axis as given in the figure in this figure if you see that there are three axis x axis y axis and z axis so we can plot any point whose coordinates are x y and z we can plot that point on that axis now see a figure in this figure there is a point there is a point whose coordinates are p x comma y comma z so here we can plot all these points in the three axis x axis y axis and z axis so this diagram shows a three dimensional figure now now I will discuss here sign of coordinate of point in three dimension geometry. So as you know that in the case of 2D there are four coordinates only x axis, negative x axis, positive y axis and negative y axis. But in the case of 3D geometry we will study eight coordinates which are given as first is O X Y Z. It means that it means that O is origin and second axis is o x dash y z here x dash shows negative x axis the same way o x y dash z o x dash y dash z o x y z dash o x dash y z dash and o x y dash z dash o x dash y dash z dash so here dash shows negative x axis and without dash shows positive x axis Now we will discuss here a most important formula which is related to the distance and the formula is distance between two points. As you know that in the earlier classes you study the distance between two points and that was the formula d is equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole up square and x1 y2 minus y1 whole up square. But here we will discuss about 3D axis. So we take so we take here d is equal to x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 whole up square plus y2 minus y1 whole up square plus z2 minus z1 whole up square in the under root. This is the formula of distance between two points in 3D axis. We can find the distance between any two points by the above formula. Now see so I see uh, example find the distance between the points a whose coordinates are 2 comma 3 2 comma minus 3 comma 5 and b whose coordinates are minus 3 comma 1 comma 3 we can find the distance of these two points by the given formula a b is equal to under root minus 3 minus 2 whole up square plus plus in bracket 1 plus 3 whole up square plus 3 minus 5 whole up square by the given formula we can find the distance between these two points which will be under root 3 root 5 now see another example the example says prove by the using distance formula that the points a whose coordinates are 1 comma 2 comma 3 b minus 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 and c 3 comma 5 comma 7 here we have to show that these points are collinear it is most important question in the case of collinear Collinear means in the same line. If three points are lie in the same line, then they are said to be collinear points. So here we have to find the distance between these two points in continuation. So first of all, we will find distance AB by the formula and this will be under root 29. In the same way, in the same way we can find the distance between BC and CA. Now see here. CA plus AB is equal to BC that means the distance between two points will be equal to the final distance it means that these points are collinear because these points are lie in the same line now 
see another example are the point this 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 are the vertices of a right angle here we have to show that these points are lie on the right angle triangle and we know that the properties of right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse will be equal to the square of base and square of perpendicular so here we have to find the distance between these two points so first we find ab square which will be 686 in the same way bc square which is 4571 and and ca square is 2709 here we see that ca square plus ab square is not equal to bc square that means the square of hypotenuse is not equal to the square of base at perpendicular it means that this triangle doesn't flow a right angle triangle now student here we will discuss about another most important formula which is known as section formula section means a point and you know that section formula is divided into two parts internally division and externally division so here we will discuss only the formula of internally division and externally division in the case of internally division the formula will be m1 plus x, m1 x2 plus m2 x1 upon m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 in the same way m1 z1 plus m2 z1 upon m1 plus m2 these are the points of the coordinate of that point which divide any line internally in the same way if we discuss about externally division then the formula will be same only sign will be changed so here we get m1 x2 minus m2 x1 upon m1 minus m2 comma m1 y2 minus m2 y1 upon m1 minus m2 and m1 z2 minus m2 z1 upon m1 minus m2 so by this formula we can find the section of any point which divide any line internally or externally now see example the example is find the coordinates of the point which divide the line segment joining the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 4 comma minus 5 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 internally and externally so here student m2 and m1 are the points which are divided in the ratio that means here m1 is 2 m2 is 3 and x1 comma x2 y1 comma y2 z1 comma z2 are the given points by the formula we can find the distance and by the formula we can find the internal and external division so the coordinates of x and y we can find the given formulas so student try this question and solve carefully and this is most important formula according to your syllabus so student in this session we will, we will discuss only three formulas distance formula section formula and the coordinates of 3d axis thank you very much student take care and try to solve all the questions related to this formula thank you very much